Hello and welcome to day 26 of our self-love challenge where we're going to talk about getting rid of gossip, all right? Gossiping doesn't help anyone, all right? So if you've got in the habit of just getting involved in gossip in the office or with your friends, have a little rethink because I'm telling you, it just adds no value and it really brings down the trust and morale in any workplace or any group of friends. So think about a situation where you're having a chat with some colleagues or some friends and your conversation actually is directed at rejoicing the misfortune of someone else. You know, that's gossip. All right, you're talking about them in a way behind their back that you would never talk to them to their face. And generally, it's going to have a negative tone to it. I've seen evidence that work productivity definitely goes down when people are emotionally caught up in drama. And it can also just um, lead to quite significant carnage, if you like. You know, friends break up over it because they no longer trust you. If you speak like this about one of the other friends, how do I know you're not going to speak about about me that way definitely in the office space you can feel that it just makes you withdraw because you don't have that freedom of feeling that your your conversation matters or that you're believed or you're respected so what to do tip number one just go zero tolerance on gossip and if you're in a workplace you can even have a zero tolerance policy written up about that it really just stops all of that disclosure of sensitive information that could be misconstrued could be treated badly and will come back to bite someone in your organization definitely set an example all right lead by example if you are gossiping then other people will gossip back to you if they know that you just don't get involved in that kind of conversation they'll generally uh, not get any joy by sharing theirs with you definitely if you're in a work environment let the boss know you know it's not okay if you feel that people are gossiping about you or gossiping about other people your boss needs to know that because I know as a CEO I would want to stamp that out very very quickly because it causes toxic cultures it really derails an organization and it can happen quite quickly and so you know it's not just um you know, dobbing on someone, it's actually just saying that it doesn't make you feel comfortable, you prefer to work in a healthy work environment. And also, how about just go and address the person, you know, this can take a bit of courage, but you don't have to do it in a harsh way, you can actually just go and say, I noticed you were talking about so and so behind their back. Um, I actually find that uncomfortable, because I'd hate to think that you would do that about me. I certainly don't speak about you in a negative way so I'm just encouraging you can you please stop it all right just be direct it doesn't have to be personal it's just making it a comfortable environment and the top tip for me is to actually encourage positive gossip all right how about you start increasing the ante on fun stuff to talk about you know what positive stories have you got positive customers co positive culture positive people people and work environments are doing so many amazing things all the time when you start focusing on that and having a good chat about that uh, you'll find that you actually get so much more energy and drive from that you won't enjoy the negative banter anymore